Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. In the last class, we have seen mean deviation in individual series. Today, we will see discrete series. Simple formula, if you remember, there is nothing to worry. What was the formula for individual series in mean deviation? Mean deviation is equal to mod, sigma mod d by n, right? Now here, uh, mean deviation is equal to sigma f into mod d, see? Sigma f into mod d by n, that's all. What we are doing? We are simply adding f, sigma f into mod d. Why f frequency is there in discrete series? In individual series, disc frequency was not there, but right now we have frequency, that is why we are adding it, sigma f into mod d by n. And the coefficient of mod, uh, mean deviation, this is as, as it is, no change at all. Now, the problem is given to you only this much, x and f. Compute mean deviation and its coefficient from mean and mode. I have done small calculations to save the time. Here, problem is given this much only. What we have to do first, mean deviation from uh, mean. This is discrete series. How do we calculate the mean? mean? Do you remember the formula? Mean is equal to sigma fx by n. So, this is the formula. x bar is equal to sigma fx by n. fx by n means fx we need to calculate. x into f calculation. 5 into 16, 80, 10 into 32, 320 like this fx we have calculated. This total is 4040, 4040. Okay? Now, calculation of x bar is easy. x bar is equal to sigma fx by n n means frequency total, this is 200. So, sigma fx by n, sigma, sigma fx is here 4040, 4040 divided by n, n is 200. So, you are getting 20.2 is the x bar arithmetic mean. Now, we can take the deviations from x bar. So, here I have provided a column, next column mod d. Mod d means x minus x bar x minus x bar, x bar is I have written here 20.2, this one, x minus x bar. Now here see, 5 minus 20.2, 15.2, 10 minus 20.2, 10.2. Like this we have calculated mod d. Then after that what else is required? f into mod d, f into mod d, 16 into 15.2. 243.2 in the same way 32 into 10.2 326.2 like this you got frequency into mod d so once if we get it up to here then we can calculate mean deviation so mean deviation is equal to f into mod d f into mod d this total is 15 31.2 by uh, frequency total is 200 we use the calculator 1531.2 divided by 200 <coughs> 7 point <coughs> excuse me 7.66 so this is mean deviation now coefficient of mean deviation Formula is mean deviation by x bar. Mean deviation is this already we got it 7.66 by x bar. x bar is 20.2. 7.66 divided by 20.2. It's coming to 0 0.38. 0 0.38. This is over. Now next from mode we have to calculate. From mode. Mode means this is from mean we have done everything calculations from mode uh, in, in discrete series what is mode how do we calculate mode mode means nothing but the frequently occurring number most repeating number is mode right if you see this data what is repeating more 20 is repeating 44 times it means mode is here 20. So, one sentence we can write by inspection mode is equal to 20. Why 20 is repeating more, <coughs> more time? <coughs> Excuse me. 
more times means that is 44 times. Once if you have identified mod, then you can go for mod d. Mod d is x minus z, z is here 20, x is this one 5 minus 20, 15, 10 minus 20, 10 like this you got mod d. Then after that frequency into mod d, frequency into mod d, 16 into 15, 240, 32 into 10, 320 like this frequency into mod d. So this total 1520 we got it. Once if you get this total then calculation is easy. Now see mod mean deviation is equal to f into mod d 1520 by n, n is 200 only. Fifteen twenty divided by two hundred seven point six. Then after that coefficient of mean deviation. Mean deviation by mean deviation is seven point six by uh, from Z we have taken Z is twenty mode seven point six divided by twenty comes to 0.38. That is it over. There is no confusion at all. Let me explain once again. In uh, discrete series, you need to calculate whatever they are asking. From where we have to calculate the mean deviation. They said from x bar and mode. x bar we have to calculate. x bar formula sigma fx by n. So, according to the sigma x, fx we have done divided by n, so you got this much. From this we have taken deviations. Now as per the formula we have to multiply this mod d with frequency, frequency into mod d over. Next we will go for uh, mo mode, mode means most frequently occurring number. So here which one is more means 44. You can say simply by inspection mode is equal to 20 because as 20 is repeating 20, 44 times. Mode is not 44, 44 is frequency, mode is 20, so 20 I have written. Now taking the deviations from mode, so x minus z, z is 20, 5 minus 20, 15, 10 minus 20, 10, like this mod we got it, mod d. Then after that frequency into mod d, frequency into mod d, 16 into 15, so 240, 32 into 10, 320, like this you got it applied in the formula. That is it simple. Am I clear? If you understood, <coughs> excuse me, there is a formula, problem for homework. Let me drink water. So, this problem is for your homework. X is given, frequency is given. Mean deviation from median. We have done from X bar and mode. From median, you have to do it. Uh, let me remind you whenever you want to calculate median, either in discrete series or continuous series, first thing is that CF you have to do, cumulative frequency. Then after that, use the formula, size of n plus 1 by 2 item. You will get median, then mod d, then frequency into mod d, then apply the formula. So anyway, answers are given to you, median answer is 4. And mean deviation is 1.49. If you are getting this answer, please let me know in the comment box. I feel very happy that you are working out even the homework problem also. And by the way, entire this channel is free of cost. Please forward these videos to many students. Those who cannot pay tuition fee, those who cannot afford higher studies in good education institutions, does not matter. I am here to help you. Please forward these videos and practice well. Next class we will see continuous studies. Good luck.